right, you're back with the Spice Cast. I'm Ben Job, your host for this evening. We got uh, all about the tones, Woo. Mr. Uh, yeah, Woo. What? <laughs> one at a time, guys. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> that's a little weak. That was, that was like an owl hoot. That was a, Well, that's that was that. That was all about the tones, and that was their their hooting. It was very good. All about All about the tones include uh, Sean Lowry and Jason Lowry, the familial rhythm section. I guess you guys are. <laughs> and also uh, John Birdsong playing the git fiddle or guitar. Oh, as yeah. we talked about earlier. <laughs> well, thanks so much for coming in, guys. Thanks for uh, bringing along all your tracks. Appreciate it, man. And uh, I understand you got some debut uh, album stuff yeah, to, to play for us for off sure. uh, your new album, Prodigious. Oh, yeah. yeah. Exclusive. So, and <laughs> when is the release date, the actual release date of this this album, yeah, Prodigious? September 18th. 18th. Very cool. Yep, and that'll yeah. be on uh, iTunes, uh, Bandcamp. Spotify. Spotify. Sweet. Okay. So just like yeah. plug it into Google and you'll find like oh, yeah. five different ways We're to get it. That's, right all, there. that's good. That's on YouTube for all y'all guys and Facebooks. Uh, Very cool. YouTube's going, you know, you know. Yeah, and Facebook is the best way for people to find you, right? And like follow up with your shows and oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah, for so sure. Far. <laughs> Definitely. So, uh, Sean and Jason, I wanted, I was wondering, like, did y- y'all grew up together, like playing bass and drums? Did you just know you wanted to be a rhythm section? There was no like, um, I'm gonna play guitar actually, and I'm gonna be the soloist. Came, like, what happened? There? Actually, I played bass. I actually had a bass when I was younger. Yeah. And he was always the guitar dude. He always played guitar. <laughs> uh-huh. and, uh, acoustic guitar and stuff like that and i was always a drummer though like i used to like find pots and pans and beat on it and like listen to like old rock CDs you were hitting and, stuff from like, yeah yeah age. i used to put on like old rock cds <laughs> and be like i play the whole album i'm a rock star bro. but uh and then in middle school i got my first pearl drum set from my uncle and uh, played that for a good year and then we moved to england for a year and a half and that kind of like halted drums and then there's I met, just no drums in England. Yeah, yeah. I just stopped playing drums, but I always had uh-huh. that rhythm, and I always loved the music. Yeah. And then I met up with John, and he was like, uh, "He's like, man, we should jam." I'm like, "I don't got a drum set." He's like, "Well, I do." I was like, "All right, <laughs> oh, heck yeah." So we started the writing enabler. some songs. Yeah, we started writing some songs, and I was like, "Well, I guess I gotta get a drum set," and you know, very start cool. Playing some shows. So did you set. have like music growing up in the house? Like, oh yeah, musicians? all around. My dad since, used to since we were born, man. We yeah, were, <laughs> my dad we used to have music. scores and stuff yeah. like that. You know. I've always I've I was in bands since I was young. Uh, uh-huh. I was a skateboarder and knocked my noggin too many times and <laughs> said fuck that shit. <laughs> and instead uh, I less picked concussions up, and live yeah, music usually uh, right yeah so most of the time depends yeah <laughs> but um uh, I I started playing music uh, and I picked it up very quickly and did what I did and played in a few bands here and there and. You know, they fell to the wayside. We'd, we'd had fun, but... Uh, and then I, I took a hiatus for a while. I just didn't want to deal with it. Um, for a little, I mean, it was, It's a little tough dealing with certain people and egos and band members oh, yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. And uh, Then my brother started playing with John, and um, he was like, man, we really need a bassist. And I was like, well... I said, well, I'm kind of really against, you know, playing in some, you know, in music if there's any ego and if... We can at least yeah. just have fun. Right. Because that's all it's about. And uh, I went and... Yeah, I've known John for years, too, back when I was a kid. Before I knew oh, him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we pretty much grew up together, <laughs> being ragamuffins and all being crazy. All these stomping grounds. <laughs> but uh, I said, yeah, sure. And uh, he had a bass handy for somebody else, and I started jamming. And <laughs> Very cool. And then the rest there we are. Yeah. Right, to right. get the band together, man. <laughs> So John, you it sounds like you pulled these guys. You're just like, I know they used to play or something. Like what happened there? Did you you had ever yeah. played with them before? Oh like, well before actually this? we were all metal bands. Uh oh, back okay. in our high school years, uh-huh. you know, about like five you know, five to ten years ago we were all metal bands. Uh, Jason was in a band Passion of Mize. Mm-hmm. Got really big in the local circuit. Uh Huntsville Circuit, Harvest Circuit, you know, around here in North Alabama. Uh yeah, I remember going to y'all shows when I was in a band mm-hmm. called The Crashing Falcon. Yep. Uh, I was playing guitar with those guys. They were always rotating members. Uh, yeah. Drew Shiflet, Matt Shiflet, those guys. And yeah, we Sean, played many yeah. shows together. Played actually. many shows. That's how we got to know each other. He was singing, doing yeah, the. I was a local <laughs> stuff at the time. Doing the. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I, was, uh, I had a seven string guitar. I was sitting there and just. <laughs> and, so, and Sean, Sean was in a band recently called Rotter. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. He was a vocal. Last about a year. Yeah, they, they right. had a big, but it was big a good following. Yeah, it, it had popped up quick. And so yeah, we going. were just hanging out because you know we all kind of liked the same things and we all came from metal backgrounds and 
started chilling with this guy. I was like, dude, let's jam. I've been really wanting a band coming out of Crashing Falcon. You know, just wanted to get back out there. You know, I want to get all these things up here, out there. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. And well, this like, fr- this yeah. first track I heard, like uh, McFly. That's a pretty laid back uh, metal jam for a bunch of like ex metal <laughs> dudes. Like, so what what happened there? What what uh, led to the change from like metal? Was you that just was trying to experiment? John, right? <laughs> John like, did it all. It's all John. I kind of oh, like that. That's kind of all what about gave the tones. It, to me, you know? it was like, well, I've always loved jazz. I was yeah, we a yeah. big, big yeah. jazz player. I was actually in a group uh, singing for a girl, Joy Tiffany. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's a um, a, like a. Uh, lounge singer, jazz singer. Right. And being in her band, I learned so much. Jesus, like we were playing gigs, and it was great. And right. all the musicians I was meeting, the jazz cats with the, everybody from keys players, xylophone players, trumpet mm-hmm. players, they were showing me things, and I just I fell in love. I was like, man, this is it. Like metal's great, I can rock out, but man, something about jazz mm-hmm. just grabbed my soul, and it started twisting. Right. <laughs> it's and like, it's kind of it. it's kind of similar to metal in a way because you got like the technicality behind it with like all the moving parts. Mm-hmm. I guess it's just like mm-hmm. coming at it at a different angle. I guess. Yeah, it, it grabs you. It's fun, you know. And you know, playing metal is when you get older. You know, being heavy is just one spectrum of an emotional standpoint. You got to put everything in there. I like being relaxed. Yeah. I, like, mm-hmm. I want music to feel like an experience. You can't just focus on one one color or one section of an experience you got to span it out you yeah. know you got a universe you got to guide through yeah. right the contrast and like yeah. as much as much like not playing as playing almost yeah 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 not about how oh, look how flashy i am you know look yeah. what i can do look what i can do it's like what's nah. your neck gets tired from all the hair yeah. Like oh, yeah. <laughs> well it's also that like playing that, that type of heavy music people are like i want to be in a heavy middle band but like eight years down the road it's like i'm getting old and tired i'm still playing these songs <laughs> i can't hear out of this ear anymore yeah, it's like, I yeah, know yeah. you also gotta think about that in the long run, you know. That's how, uh, actually, uh, that's what, you know, kind of put a little, uh... Damper on the, on the... Well, no, 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 uh, it, it, it changed, uh, I was also in a jazz fusion band after mm-hmm. I, you know, when I got up age, I was like, man, I just don't want to do metal anymore. Mm-hmm. A lot of people kind of get that, uh, because after playing metal for so long, you just kind of, like, there's something more to music than that, and not to damper anything on, on metal. Right. Oh, yeah, I still love well, y'all metal. Right. Metal, so and, and I always will have respect yeah, for it. Yeah, I still love, love it, and I always <laughs> listen to it. Yeah, but uh, it gets to a point, and I got to that point, and we did a I did a jazz fusion band, nine and sounds. Nine sounds uh, mm-hmm. it was popular around here. Uh, we we had a good time. Everything was wonderful. Uh, you know, the things just kind of came to an end, and uh, then when I you know, came over to the first practice. They played me, you know, the McFly. And I was like, well, that's... I can get down with that, man. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Because it's not... You know, Just I didn't, sit back I didn't and know some where John had been. Thing. And he didn't know where I had been. I mean, uh-huh. he had seen where Nine Sounds has been. And he, yeah. he, had, he oh, figured... Yeah, he figured, man, this guy would like this. <laughs> so, uh, I came in, I was like, that's awesome, man. I'm, I'm down. So... Well, very cool. That's where it is. So, uh, y'all's first album's Demo Days... Uh, was that was that a big jump for y'all, or had y'all been into like making albums and stuff before? Well, yeah, we were trying to figure out how to re- someone to record us, and it uh-huh. came down to the point they were like, we were just, we were just itching for it. I was like, man, I gotta do it. And I was like, well, I have an MXL 990 and an MXL 991 condenser, and I have a Tascam interface, and I have a laptop with Reaper on it, uh-huh. and. Uh, you know, you one day we, we just yeah, we so recorded one song. We yeah, yep. we recorded one song, and then we recorded another one, and then I was like, you know what? We just record two more and make just make an EP, and you know, yeah, yeah, do that. And we just kept on, kept it on, and pushed that out. And no, and they sound good for <laughs> yeah, for, just for, for one mic, yeah. yeah, for sure. He he yeah. mastered a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the corner every day, yeah. and just like, what's he, he was, still alive was, over so, there? He was very into animated it. about yeah. it. I will say that for these guys, that's why I love being in a band with these two guys, and, uh, and my brother too. Um, also, my brother Derek Bird song was in the band. Uh-huh. Uh, he might be coming back. Watch out! <laughs> yeah, Watch out. The return of Derek. Yeah, yeah the, bird, the, be the brother's bird song and the brother's Lowry. Up oh there. yeah, you'll have two. Yeah, two yeah. Brothers, yeah. So well, we started out with that. That just makes it square. We should just change the name to Band of Brothers. All about the squared tones. Squared. I think Tone's Tone's going to sue somebody. Tone squared. Tone to the four yeah. <laughs> There we go. But um, yeah, he had a lot to do with the writing on that first album mm-hmm. too. There's a song on there called All the, On the Spot. He literally showed me the night before because we were listening to Chon, uh, that band that came out, Prague Instrumental Band. I love those guys. They have little acoustic interludes. Uh-huh. And uh, Derek was like, oh man, I was just writing this. 
And we were thinking of stuff to fill on the album. I'm like, dude, dude, (laughs) yeah, put that on the EP. So that whole song you hear on the spot, uh, if you look at our um, EP online, that's all Derek Bird's song. (laughs) Very cool. Yeah. yeah. So he may he may be making a triumphant return. He might be making a triumphant now, return. Now, how does he fit into y'all's mix like now? Does he oh, play uh, guitar? Or? Yeah, he's a guitar player. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're, we're brothers too. We grew up playing guitar. My dad's a guitar player. My mom was a drummer. A lot of that was handed to us. Uh, but he's got a full time job and a five year old daughter. And oh yeah. She is beautiful. My niece Lila. So he's got that kind of had to take that route over. Yeah, the definitely. <laughs> Family first. Yeah. But, uh, but he might sure. be coming back. So that Very first cool. album was really just kind of chill, but if you get in the next album, the next couple songs, you'll see the metal influence. It'll start. <laughs> actually, one actually one of the songs off this new EP that's actually about to drop is one of Derek's songs. Like yeah. half the song he threw he at us, and we're like, yeah. a lot to do with the writing. Yeah. So you might as well come. Uh, he might as well come play live shows with you guys too, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doing half the work on some of them. Yeah. Right. The kid sure. can come. Just we, put the yeah. little plugs yeah. in the ears. It's, it's, we don't say any f bombs yeah. on. We're, we're instrumentals. Yeah. <laughs> Well, cool. Just, Let's hear just it. Just jive with it. <laughs> just jive with it. All about the tones with McFly off of Demo Days. We're back with not Smoke Demon, but all about the tones. <laughs> Invisiblades. Hey. Smoke. The Invisiblades. Oh. Is that what you said? Embers ablaze. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said the Invisiblades. I was like, that sounds awesome. Oh, uh, the Invisible. We, we were coming up with ideas for <laughs> Smoke Demon's new album. <laughs> Smoke Demon, we're here to help you with we your new album Demon. title. Go ahead, man. <laughs> but, <laughs> but about y'all's, y'all's music. All about the tones. That was uh, Mick Fly off of Demo Days. What did, where did the Mick Fly come from? Well, it's a very... You, we're just like, yeah. that song was so Mick Fly. <laughs> it was originally called Doo-Wop, because it's yeah, just a doo-wop, doo-wop, right, right. doo-wop chord progression. But, you know, we, we were watching our Back to the Future, and it's all based <laughs> in the 50s. Yeah, it's a 50s. So, song. like, you know, yeah. Marty McFly went back there, and he played guitar, and it was all loud, and, yeah. and that kind of thing. So yeah. we were like, well... We wouldn't do that. <laughs> and I was like, you get your damn hands off her <laughs> and name it that song. <laughs> and 
and play some like chilled out jazz <laughs> yeah, exactly. up on stage. Yeah. Back to the town. So were you were you actually playing that song while you're watching? <laughs> <laughs> it was in silent. It was muted. Yeah. 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 Like, you were just like a montage yeah. of yeah. Marty McFly, yeah. and you were playing. <laughs> we needed a music video. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would we'll, just play it backwards. If we ever do some, make like, a music art on it, you know. Uh-huh. Just yeah. take just take Back to the Future and like you know mess with it and give it keep it. Well, I'm trying to get a hold of Biff. Biff, <laughs> yeah, right. to play Biff. He'll be in the music video. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be covered in, in manure. <laughs> in manure. On a, ho- on a hoverboard. Yeah. Hover <laughs> so was that was that? Uh, it kind of seems like a song that might be based off of like one riff or something that grew into to me a lot yeah did it, did, yeah. did anyone come up with that original uh riff for that one or uh, yeah, yeah. I, I was, again i was in a jazz band we were doing a lot of jazz doo-wop uh, uh-huh. i love that chord progression it's really easy it's kind of like uh if you've ever heard the song uh, sleepwalking by santo and johnny yeah uh, it's mm-hmm. very much like that that same chord progression but you know instead of doing it all the way down to the neck uh like a g to e minor c major seven to d i just take it all the way up the neck and uh-huh. it's around with that bass with a bass note, so it's got like a bass lead uh, behind what Jason's doing. Mm-hmm. And it, we just take the variation on the timing, just let Sean go to work. It's like, all right, take me yeah. on the roller coaster and make a big finish. Yeah. So, <laughs> so how early in y'all's like uh, get together was this song put together? Oh, was this definitely definitely one of the first, first ones? ones. Yeah. Really? Definitely one of the first songs we wrote. It came yeah, real easy. When he kind of listened to him, everything at me at once. He was like, I yeah. got this idea. Got this idea. <laughs> I got that idea. Let's like, record it all on yeah, your laptop yeah. now. Let's go. <laughs> make it for sure. <laughs> No, that's cool. But yeah, to me, it sounds like um, like a, a nice, a laid back song that you could get to know another musician playing. Because I guess as musicians, you know, jazz is a great way to do that. Because mm-hmm. you've got like a lot of you've got a lot of set traditions and a lot of tunes that a lot of people know, but mm-hmm. also so much space to you know do whatever you want over it. So it kind of mm-hmm. sounds like a getting to know you kind of song, like yeah, just yeah. among yourselves. It was. It yeah. was. We had a lot of play around room with it. We were able to. Yeah, you know, right. have good times with it. You know? So, how did you decide like the other tracks that were going to go on to that uh, demo days? It was did kind of like, a... uh, well, we had all the 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 songs that are on this EP that's about to come out. We had those songs written as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shia LaBeouf would be in the last ones written. Uh, for those, we didn't want to write. We went. We didn't want to record those songs uh, right away because we thought those had better potential for better production and stuff like that. I was like, uh-huh. well, I, all I got is one mic. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I was like, <laughs> these are, and all the songs on Demo Days are kind of like just simple and small and to the point right. and, you know, just, you know, in music-wise, easier structure too, just simple. And I was like, you know, let's just do this short, simple songs, you know, and stuff like that, you know, not heavy, you know. And this one's gonna be like completely different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pop it in. Like, like, we what saved is this? You know, what is this thing? Yeah. You want to yes. talk about it? Like there it is. This... Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. It's actually, the second half of a, of a song is the, the uh-huh. first song before is called and dot dot dot. Right. And this song there, there it, it is. is. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. But uh, uh, there it is. It's fun. It's a heavier one on that. It's the heaviest song on that album. We mm-hmm. would say it's still clean guitars, a little bit of distortion. Because like Sean was saying, we didn't have mm-hmm. much to work with. We didn't want to put too many eggs in one basket and it not be what we wanted to hear. And so with this one, we were just pushing the limits of how heavy we could be without it sounding like utter mud. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sounding like static or Um, mud. And and the way it was written, I'd actually taken the chord progression from a song I was uh, writing to sing, put vocals to. Uh And with Sean, again, we just started the band. We wanted to just put things together. So I was like, hey, let me throw this idea at you. Mm-hmm. And we let it ride. Just, and we know, connected those songs. Connects, it's like, hey, yeah, we could connected. run these together. You know? Yeah, it was like so. Well, there were two separate things at the first yeah. when it started out. Actually, yeah. yeah. When when I came into the band, they were like, well, "Let's play and," and we play and, and then we play, well, "Let's play." There it is. <laughs> and I'm like, let's just let's just make it one song. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's almost the whole sentence there. Anyway, yeah. 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 it might I as mean, well be one. It's song. one sentence. <laughs> when us, why not wake? Well, there it is. <laughs> yeah. well, very oh, awesome. Yeah. We'll cool. show you guys just there it is because you know it's it's too it's more of the meat and potatoes yeah. of the duo. Right. Yeah. The the main course starts now. Yeah. <laughs> All about the tones. There it is. <laughs>
All right, we're back with you our always, friends. You always say you leave We're our phone. friends all about the tones. <laughs> <laughs> that was there it is. There it was. That's there it was. <laughs> there, it is. there it was. So you said that uh, that one was originally written to have vocals over it or something? Yeah, yeah. I'd written it a lot, uh, back when I uh, first left Crashing Falcon. I had so many ideas, and mm-hmm. I was doing a spout where I was singing and playing guitar just wherever I could. And that was... Uh, uh, just a little, a little kind of chord progression. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna throw this at Sean. Let's see if we can communicate a little bit. It turns it turn into a different monster. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. So, so is the uh, the songwriting pretty democratic? Just comes out of all the places, or what? Oh yeah, yeah. We yeah. Nobody holds back an idea. Uh, no idea gets <laughs> shot down. If anything, we, we can always not immediately. At least. No, no, yeah. I, not, not really ever. <laughs> Unless like, it's yeah, not working. Like there's oh, there's yeah. just things that are just like we'll we'll, we'll say yeah. it. We'll say it for later. If it doesn't feel right, right or yeah. else. But no, I, I'm a firm believer. Of everybody should be heard. You know, Jason needs to get on this writing thing. He joined yeah. the band. Oh yeah, he's about, he's kind of midway. Yeah, he's hungry, man. Like, what I liked about what I liked about it though is when I came in, they were like, "Look, just do what you do." Uh-huh. Yeah. And you're you're no your judge. own department. Mm-hmm. Just do what you do, and it gave me freedom to you know do what I needed to do. You know they gave me the certain certain of the like the new stuff that we've got or the new al- album that's coming out. Uh-huh. Uh huh. There there are certain things where I, you know we had to have structure, <laughs> so I couldn't just yeah. do willy nilly. But of course you know I I still have you know my writing freedom to do what I need to do. And that's cool. It's a good way to go into a a band like just right off the bat like we're trying to do something that's ego free like yeah, exactly. that's wonderful because yeah, that's, that's what it is I mean you know? just as surely as being like terrible at playing music like egos can scuttle bands or exactly. like mm-hmm. and and it makes it I don't know it's there's nothing worse than either being in a band or going to a band where like all the bandmates hate each other and they're <laughs> yeah, like yeah. they're playing anyways and you're just like wow this is a very it, yeah. yeah like hostility Nobody looks at each yeah. other on stage yeah. 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 right right just get through this like, shit. Well, on purpose that's yeah. well that's yeah. what happened when before like anything no. started we we uh-huh. just yeah we, we just sat we sat down like even before playing or practicing uh-huh. I just came over and hung out at his house and like we just talked what we wanted we just like we right. gotta have communication before even going in there and acting like you know like this is what I want this is what I want it's like let's sit down and talk and figure out what we want or, you know see what's no going that's on. awesome yeah yeah it's good to good to have a mutual like not really contract but you know just like yeah. a <laughs> Uh, idea that you're all you're all pro, I guess. It's like step inside my head. Yeah, because <laughs> nobody nobody's perfect. You know, I'm not the best guitar player in the world, and Sean's not the best drummer, or the best bass player. No one will ever be the best because as soon as uh-huh. you think you are, there's gonna be somebody, some kid in his basement, right. gonna be growing up in ten years, gonna be the best. Some guy with six <laughs> so fingers. Think, yeah, so mm-hmm. I'm getting an ego thinking like, oh, this guitar riff is not gonna change because I wrote it and I am <laughs> the best. <laughs> you know, right. it's infallible. Like, you know, that's such a, that's not a good attitude. Too. That's horrible. And the best I've, is yeah, relative. It's relative. <laughs> right, right. And I, I think we've all been in bands like that where there's one guy or two guys that just do everything or stomp on ideas or throw a fit or say, like, yeah. no, you can't do that or we, we have a code, you know, and it's like, I'm sick of that, you know? Like, yeah. Let's just, just do, do, do a thing. It. Just do have, the thing. Have some sense about you. You'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> just talk it out. Let's just jam it out and everything will be fine. It'll be fine. Just yeah. chill and jam. Exactly. So, so the uh, live recordings were those a lot different? Uh, are your live music a lot different from your the way you put stuff into recording, or is it pretty similar? Did you have to like cut things down or change things uh, up when you wanted sim- to record very it? Very similar, but definitely different. We, mm-hmm. we definitely there's things we can do in a studio that we can't do live. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it's also things we yeah. can, we do live that we, we can't, can't do, do in the studio. <laughs> studio. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. So, yeah. Right. so you get a little different monster, but we like to change it. We like to make it fun. We, we want yeah. you to take the record home and have it be an experience. Like we yeah. didn't sit there and do. All, everything in one take like we did we chopped up a lot we use a lot of different effects a mm-hmm. lot of different takes and we're not trying to be the most technical band out there we want to give you an experience yeah. so when you come and see us live and you see us all do it all in one take do it all in like half an yeah. hour 45 minutes you're like whoa I, yeah. I've been listening to this for like a whole day and now these, <laughs> what is this it's yeah. like a whole different yeah. monster it's also <laughs> Derek was was also in the band so there was two guitarists and stuff like uh-huh. that and that's what this new EP that's coming out there's a lot of stuff that is you know layered and there's 
you know, two guitars going on, mm-hmm. but now, yeah. you know, it's just a trio. So. so when we play it live, it's like he can only do so much. Like he's got to, he's got to hold it down. Gives y'all a chance to. Well, like I'm I'm but one thing we don't ever <laughs> skip on is we have energy. Oh yeah, yeah. We, we these guys, out. We these guys were crazy. Yeah, we, we will give it. We will give the energy. What's they cross necks and stuff like that. Ghostbusters. You have to be slightly sitting down at least, right? Play the drums. Feet have to be on the. Pedal, he's so. still very energetic, though. You can see that he's digging everything he's doing. Running in place. <laughs> <laughs> to the beat. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's that's uh, something a lot of bands seem to run into, I think, is, is like the energy of a crowd. It kind of drives different things out of your music. Mm-hmm. and For sure. Did, did you have a, ever bring a song to like a live performance and have it end up like changing it later on because of it? Like the way it way people reacted to it or oh, the way yeah. it worked live? Yeah, very, very much. There's actually songs that are outside the what we have recorded that we're, we're really desperately wanting to write that are that. Very much. Yeah, we started sure. out a riff or a chord yeah. progression and we were just like, well, guys, let's just do it on stage yeah. see where it goes. Yeah, yeah. And we... I think we've had like 20 different versions of two yeah. different songs so far. <laughs> exactly. so, You're going to find the best one as, then. That's yeah, the only way to do it, right? Just as much right. as we have our written out stuff, we also do jam too. So we uh-huh. are kind of like an experimental jam. Also. Improv, yeah. you know. You know improv yeah. band. But what you hear on the um, record is written. Like, is that's written. not yeah. us being like... And you will, you will consistently <laughs> hear that song when we play. Yeah. Now, not everything we play is going to be written. Yeah, like so. McFly, we amped it up a little bit. You know, yeah. when uh-huh. you hear it live, it's a little bit louder, you know, a little yeah. bit more in your face. But it's <laughs> Smoke demon. Smoke demon. Smoke demon. Smoke demon. Demon it's very cool. it's smoke. So, so, so Sean, a lot of these, I hear like a metal influence kind of to your drum patterns and stuff. Yeah, because they're because they're kind of alternative. You want to talk about like how those come together with these? Oh man, like, Lamb of God. Period. Chris Adler. <laughs> <laughs> I was like Frog. Yeah, yeah. Frog yeah. Frog uh, I'm a big uh, Between the Bear to Me fan. Like Blake Richardson, man. Uh-huh. He's he's got endurance and he he just does everything. And that's that's like. My Omega Idol. Well, same with like Mike <laughs> Portney from like uh, Dream Theater and stuff. Then uh-huh. he left, and then his icon status kind of fell. <laughs> but now nah, he's still a great drummer. But uh, just thinking outside the box and just being like, man, how do they? How do these dudes write this stuff? Like, mm, you know, what yeah. I'm saying, just like blowing you away. I love, yeah. I, lo- I love that type of, you know, just in the pocket and uh, this crazy stuff. <laughs> but, yeah, y'all's, y'all's music it. is cool because you know a lot of. Some metal, you've got so many competing like melodies, yeah and, yeah, and rhythms and everything is just like it's pretty much can you you know get your message across while having all these and you've kind of like spaced it out with the jazz you you each have mm-hmm. space to kind of express yourselves which is which is neat for sure and especially from like the the metal angle of it too. well I still love like old jazz drummers like Art Blakey oh, yeah. and yeah, stuff yeah. like that and like Max Roach and stuff like mm-hmm. that and those guys are insane like the syncopation you know. and like the space yeah, yeah, and all that for yeah. sure I've done my digging Eric <laughs> yeah Eric Moore good there lord go. yeah for sure well, well, Carter Buford, you had a big Carter Buford phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of I, I have my phases <laughs> of different drums. Yeah, I, I, I remember that. Phase. I remember that phase. Depends yeah, on where the moon's at, which yeah. drummer is like yeah. smiling down. Oh. Yeah, it's just <laughs> certain drummers have certain things to them, like certain mm-hmm. niches, or they do certain things that like pop in my head. Like, whoa, right. they thought so different, you know, compared yeah. to another drummer that's completely, you know. It freaks different. me out to watch those guys, and they're playing like traditional grip. Yeah, and that's just weird for me because yeah. I grew up playing drums, but it was always match grip, and I kind of just you know taught myself you just smack the thing. But they have like it's just like they're balancing <laughs> like yeah. dishes on their hands, and they've got like the strength and the power and like the speed, and and it's just like I you know you can do a lot of things in different ways. You just don't realize it until you. That's the beautiful thing about music, though. You, mm-hmm. know? you don't necessarily have to do it this way or that yeah. way. Right. That's what I learned over time. You just you just do it. And... <laughs> You try things out. If you're out, enjoying right? it and yeah. it sounds good to everybody else, and yeah. who the smoke demon cares? <laughs> <laughs> but now, this episode is sponsored by Smoke Demon. Sponsored. We love you, Justin and Omar. Smoke! <laughs> well, very cool. Y'all want to talk about this new debut Shia LaBeouf oh, exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. Just that, one, <laughs> that one's sponsored by Shia LaBeouf, right? Well, like it, was, actor, it was. He was, he was like, no. dude, I'm going to find his agent and I'm going to try to get, <laughs> like, I'm gonna try to get him in the music video yeah. for real. <laughs> and you know, he's all like trying to be like, an, you know, I'm an artist now. It's like, come on, get <laughs> yeah, it for free. He's totally trying to be hip right now. So he would totally just yeah, get, and then he, bam. He's already in a bunch of music videos. So we're trying to get two. We've got Biff. 
And Shia LaBeouf. Is it great? I don't even know that guy's name. <laughs> Isn't Biff getting old by now, yeah. though? Like, who cares, man? He'll do it. Yeah, he's, he needs They'll be like, one. who is that? It's like, I think he's wearing, think a, he's wearing that a sign Biff? that says Biff <laughs> on him, so I think it's Biff. And you're like... <laughs> they label is, him. is he wearing the space <laughs> age <laughs> helmet? <laughs> Just yeah. Well, so you all want to talk about this, like the new album, and it's specifically oh, Shia LaBeouf. Man. Yes, but, well, the Shia LaBeouf was actually called Bruschetti because uh, mm-hmm. of a skit on Adult Swim that Shot we all Shot like. I know. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. it. Touched yeah. me in my heart right there. So. Yeah. 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 yeah, we called it that for a long time, and then, <laughs> then these two geniuses over here decided, well, if we call it Shia LaBeouf, people will like YouTube Shia LaBeouf. Dude, more hits on <laughs> the song. And I was, like, I was like, I was like, that's that like search. Uh, just trying yeah. to get out there. It's man. a smart yeah, strategy. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get out there. I was like, yeah. very good. It'll, it'll pop up. <laughs> and like, after like care, once but... it gets like five million views, then you change the name to uh, Bruschetti, <laughs> and then you're you're good. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> or Shyla sure. Bruschetti or something. Yeah, Bruschetta. Bruschetta. But yeah, and this song had a lot to do with my little brother writing and Sean. This was like when those two, because I'd been doing almost all the guitar writing with Sean, and yeah. his, and Derek's idea is kind of trying to just incorporate it with his rhythm. But it was a good time for Derek uh, and Sean to just mesh, like, like just go at it, go yeah. at it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they wrote, I wrote the first half of the song. You'll see, it's very much very divided, but it, it's, it's like a okay. roller coaster. You're going up, you're going up, and then all the crazy happens. Yeah. So I wrote a lot of the beginning, the opening section, and but then once it takes off, that was really just all. Those two guys and and Jason hopping on in there throwing out yeah. their bass foot. Yeah, and actually, I was, in, I was I was like, like hey, in man, the writing here's the process. Song, half, you know, you know like, here's right the when riffs. that came in, I was like, okay, here's the root and root notes, dude. You you handle it. Yeah. <laughs> so, all, right, all right, I got it. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. We yeah. did um the recording of these drums at SAC Studios with our buddy uh-huh. Clay Smith. Is it SAE? SAE. SAE. I'm sorry, SAE, SAE Studios and and in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, cool. It was great quality. We you'll see why we saved these songs, <laughs> right? For our second. Exactly. Yes. Well, drums are yeah. drums are like. I mean, one mic for a drum set is rough. It's very yeah. tough. Yeah. With, no matter how good your mic is, yeah. it's like drums are just you can't get with, when you, you get want. down to the mixing and the mastering. It's like. Oh yeah, if I have eighteen, that'll do. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Eighteen mics, yeah. that'll be good. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure, sure having like a, a big established studio like that really helped too. Oh man, mm-hmm. it felt great when we were there. It felt we felt like actual musicians. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a big studio, man. Pretty, uh-huh. pretty, they got the they got the big old board and everything, and the separated rooms and stuff like that. Isolated yeah. rooms. Was that cool. the first time you recorded? Uh, there, yeah. Well, no, like, <laughs> I'd never been there. Before. Yeah, that was my first time yeah, being like. First time that, was, that was my first time actually or? being in like in a, a studio, oh really yeah. huge crazy studio. Like I've been into like E Native Studios and Decatur and stuff, mm-hmm. but that place is closed down. I think that building is like actually no. The E Natives <laughs> sold that building and it's somewhere else, but let's whatever. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been to you so know, so were you working E Native? E Native's good people. Chris Camp, bam bam. Chris Camp, good. So the the drum tracks were you playing uh, along with recorded or live or what? Uh, what we did was he was in the control room with Clay Smith. Uh-huh. Well, Clay Smith was behind the board and stuff like that. And then you know they're looking right at me, so he was kind of like tucked away. But you know he's but you hit could record. hear him live. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. He's cool. like hit record, and you know I was playing with him. So it is definitely like there was no metronome or anything. It's really got right. a live feel to it and stuff like that. And what's that's what's cool. It's like people are so precise and so like. Yeah. I don't know. Like everything's gotta be perfect. So like, it's like, what happened to a live sound? Like, what happened yeah. to a band? Just knowing your instrument, you know, just yeah, and yeah, knowing, knowing your time, knowing your all those crazy like yeah, noises sound. you hear, and you can hear it. Like you can hear it. Like it's, you know, even you know, a perfect day later on, you know, you'll hear things that with my drumming or something like that, you'll hear a slip or something like that, or, and there's really nothing we could do because it's like there's the drum takes, right? There they are, you know. <laughs> but you know, it's got that organic, you know, just you know, live sound to it, you know? Well, I think, like, some of my favorite albums have those, like, weird, like, someone's dog barked in the background. Yeah. Or, like, <laughs> yeah. or something, like, I feel like that live sounds yeah, really yeah, special. Yeah. It keeps it authentic, you know? It so does. You're never gonna, like, you're never gonna do that slip again <laughs> the yeah. same way, you know? So yeah. it's cool that you capture it. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, let's just go ahead and hear it. This will be all about the tones with the debut track, Shia LaBeouf, off of Prodigious. Turn your <coughs> subwoofers up. <coughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
right. It's back. We're back. We're back with All About the Tones. That was uh, Shia LaBeouf. And uh, I wanted to ask about, like, the... Uh, <laughs> The, the way you said that was great. The, you Shia, you Shia enjoyed LaBeouf, that? He was just here. We missed him. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. Shia LaBeouf. Like, um, like he, he's gone now. He he's too all bad. That. <laughs> I mean, whatever. It's just Shia. He he's, he's always in my basement. He and I'm just like, left the building. <laughs> I'm like, Sh- get out of here. Go act or something. Like, go make money. <laughs> just like, do it. Stop eating all my cheese. He's like, whatever. My cheese. <laughs> He's a fan of cheese. So there's a there's a lot of transitions in this song. There's a lot of different like pieces. Um, did you play this live before it was recorded? Yes, yeah. several, 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 several times before it. Yeah. So did it have as as many phases as it does now, or or the, have there been yeah. like infinite um, phases for this? No, it, it, <laughs> it was kind of was yeah. part. It was all yeah. pe- like pieced together. Uh huh. Yeah. But then it was just kind of like making sure the transitions worked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah, that was one we had written before we played it live. We wanted that was a, that was a song. Okay. Song. It took us time because like a lot of the way we started writing is <laughs> we straight up. You know, most people use musical staffs or tab literature. Well, uh-huh. We would have what we called tones literature, <laughs> 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 and we would take it in your own paper. language. Oh, in yeah. Your... <laughs> yeah, that's all music really is. It's just communication. But yeah. we just had a piece of paper and we would write things like. The tool part, <laughs> or the one part that sounds like Lamb of God seven times. Right, Mastodon, right. Mastodon, Mastodon Phil, yeah. and three Mastodon, three and a half Mastodon Mastodons yeah. into the creepy English um, outro. <laughs> Whatever and it sounds it, to us, and we would just memorize right. it. And the next thing you know, we'd have a song in our heads. And that's why that's why written. musicians name drop all the time because they're yeah. like, we sound like. Yeah. X and X mixed with the chubby yeah. rain section. The <laughs> chubby rain chubby section. Rain. That was almost the name of the album. <laughs> chubby rain. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's got it was that chubby. close. I would love it to see it was between <laughs> prodigious and chubby <laughs> rain. <laughs> prodigious chubby rain. Oh, let's weigh our options. <laughs> People I'll, are like chubby rain. <laughs> what the hell. I would love to, yeah, I would buy that off the, you know, like the gas station on the side. Yeah. Like, Chubby Rain TV, that looks yes. Like a <laughs> yes. I would love to see people dancing to this song because, like, it, you know, it starts out pretty chill and, and it gets into, the, like, the metal parts. I would just like to see it because, you know, they'd have to get intense with it. People get and then very go, into it, man. They uh, headbang yeah. a lot. They're no like, doubt. Some good you feedback, know, though. Dance around. You know, that's why these guys you can mold them into like oh, they're awesome. just chilling out yeah. and then you just hit them with oh, a, we see it. a lot of people that come out are amazing oh, we, we, love, we, we love we want everybody we want out. your punk rockers your hippies your scene kids your right. kids your grandma your your dog bring them all <laughs> if you don't <laughs> want to be part of a subgenre then just come out yeah, yeah. just, <laughs> just yeah. like it just like all us. the normal people too yeah all the normal people all the hipsters and the grease monkeys the ones in the doesn't matter who you are well when people are interacting Acting with you, that's the best. That's the yeah. best like audience yeah. to have, no matter what. And that's what we they're... try to do too. We, we are, are all always do that. Not just a little bit about it, all about it. We love to play <laughs> all the music, and we love to just give it our all towards everybody. So what about yeah. the what about the ending on this song? Was that set in stone? Yeah, did you, yeah. Did that it was all written, and yeah. we were like, "Hey, that's so, how we're gonna do it." Yeah. Just metal it out. I was like, "Sean, play it, <laughs> metal, metal it out." <laughs> Sometimes I play that shit live. Yeah. I'm like, "Why did I make this part? I hate myself." <laughs> And that's the that I just wanted to, to. That's actually to how I feel up. about ants, which is there's a name drop for I don't know our other song. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> a lot yeah. heavier. That's where we put all our you know physicality. Into. So you told me earlier there's a story behind the name, all about the tones. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is the yeah. legend? Well, what is the legend? It, it it's started, actually really simple. <laughs> it's really kind of an interesting story. Uh, we, me and Sean had just started jamming. I'd come back. Uh, uh, I have family in St. Louis, Illinois, um, St. Louis, Missouri. And uh, I'd just come back from Christmas break, and we just started jamming, and we were like, you know what, we need a band name if we're going to write uh-huh. a set. Yeah. And we're just riding around, doing, you know, just... Thinking of names, throwing at it, like, how about this one? Chilling, right? right? And he's like, how well, I mean, what do, we, what do we got? And he's like, well, Sean just says to me, he says, oh, man, you know, you, you got to be about this, you got to be about this, and but most of all, you got to be all about the tone. Just all about that tone. You just got to have all about it. And I was like, wait, what did you just say? <laughs> he's like, oh, this, this. is like, no, 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 before all that, before all that. W- what did you say about tones? It's like, <laughs> uh, all about, you got to be all about the tone. Like. That's it. That's it. That's the band name. Nice. Like. But also, you know, it, and that's why I like the, you know, the name because you know, so many people are, you know, they care so much. Like this is our name, or you know, they care so much about, you know, mm-hmm. 
You know, it have a, me- a meaning behind it yeah, or something really like that. Deep. We're butane. <laughs> or, you know, like... Butane. Some, yeah. Or, you know... Butane accessories. Yeah. yeah we like, are Charlotte's Web. Yeah. <laughs> or, you know, like some crazy... With a K. Yeah. With a K. It's got to have a meaning. But it's like, hey, this is how we are, you know? Oh, that's good, yeah. You know, it's all tones, about the silly tones. You know? If you yeah. want a meaning in it, then it's like, be all about the tones. You know, you got all sorts of tones in the world. You got Game of Tones. You know, you got <laughs> ET phone tones. <laughs> you got osmosis tones. We're, we're reaching back. <laughs> Indiana tones and the Temple of Tones. Fear and toning in Hunts Vegas. <laughs> yeah. We got Tones Runner. You know, starting Harrison Ford. That's pretty good. <laughs> These will all be. T-shirts. Those are. I was about to say those are all album titles. Right? Yeah. Like, got like twenty of them. We're already out of the. Game. You have to make a lot of albums. You know, like, <laughs> I'm quiet over here. <laughs> he's like, he's like, like, I don't no, know these, these guys. These <laughs> albums <laughs> are. I'm not. Not accepting like, these puns at all. Bass. <laughs> it's all about the bass. I wanted to name it all about the bass, all but no. Yeah. Yeah. Slap it to bass, man. Slap it to I would definitely name the album that. Slap it to bass. Slap it to bass, man. M-O-N. Mon. Next up, it's uh, Slap a bass on. Whatever. <laughs> That's a Pokemon. <laughs> slap a bass Slap a bass a gum. <laughs> well, thanks again for coming out, guys. Uh... We appreciate y'all, man. Please, yeah, please uh, look awesome. these guys up on Facebook. That's where you'll find most of their shows and all that good stuff. But September 18th on almost all your lovely internet venues for music, they've got the new uh, CD coming out, Prodigious, with uh, what you heard here, Shia LaBeouf. And the the next track, Perfect Day, is going to be on there too, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, is, cool. this is our baby. This is it. This is actually the main song that I was like, we can't record this with one damn yeah, mic. This is, like, this is, we gotta have better production. Yeah. So this is the main mamma jamma. This is actually the first song me and Sean wrote together. Yeah, this is actually oh, cool. the, this is yeah. the beginning. Sweet. That's why we tones. saved it. We wanted it just it's a you know be ready to be just right. And the song's called Perfect Day because it's about having a perfect day. It's a long song. It's almost ten minutes. <laughs> but you start out with your morning and then you uh-huh. got your afternoon and then your night. Then Different you sections. That, and then, that, then you yeah. got that last little bit of you know, you're you're you can't sleep at night. <laughs> you got a big fish. Yeah. <laughs> very cool very cool well yeah check it out on YouTube Spotify Bandcamp iTunes that'll be September 18th and look them up on Facebook and have a great night this will be all about the tones with Perfect Day
been a production of spice radio from huntsville alabama you guys know what you want and you don't have to do too much to get it get with us at spice-radio.com if you have a podcast you make music or art or you have an event that you want to promote in the tennessee valley you can find us at www.facebook.com slash spice radio huntsville or on twitter at spice radio hsv and again our website spice-radio.com